Hello everyone and welcome to Discovery Zone. Today we're going to talk about Yellowstone National Park and everything that's going on. Yellowstone National Park, renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, vibrant wildlife, and remarkable geothermal features, is facing an unprecedented challenge that has prompted its closure. This alarming development aligns with the warning issued by astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. So imagine a cube six miles across deep and high, Damn. and that's how much lava came out. Uh, it's one thing to have a place where it could happen, but you have to gather the magma. It's got to all be liquid, and it's, it's got to be able to punch through it. Spanning over 2.2 million acres, primarily in Wyoming, but also extending into Montana and Idaho, Yellowstone National Park offers an awe-inspiring array of natural wonders. Among its most celebrated features are its geothermal marvels, boasting over 10,000 geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles. These captivating displays of bubbling pools and erupting geysers, such as the renowned Old Faithful and the vibrant Grand Prismatic Spring, leave an indelible impression on visitors. The park's allure extends beyond geothermal wonders. It is home to the striking Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, carved by the mighty Yellowstone River. Majestic yellow and orange cliffs frame the powerful river, while the lower and upper falls within the canyon offer awe-inspiring viewpoints. Additionally, Yellowstone Lake, North America's largest high elevation lake spanning over 130 square miles, provides opportunities for boating, fishing, and scenic drives along its shoreline. Yet beneath the surface of this seemingly idyllic national park, a hidden terror lurks, the Yellowstone Supervolcano. This supervolcano, classified as a caldera, is a colossal volcanic crater formed by the collapse of a volcano following a massive eruption. Spanning approximately 45 miles in diameter, it showcases the immense scale of this volcanic system. The caldera's formation traces back to ancient volcanic eruptions that occurred millions of years ago, cataclysmic events that expelled vast amounts of volcanic material, leading to the collapse and formation of the caldera. However, the supervolcano is not dormant. It exhibits ongoing geothermal activity. The park's landscape is dotted with hot springs, geysers, mud pots, and fumaroles, all emanating gases and steam from deep within the earth. These geothermal features are a direct result of the supervolcano's underlying heat and geological activity. Notably, Old Faithful erupts with remarkable regularity, shooting scalding hot water and steam into the air, often reaching heights of over 100 feet. Although the last colossal eruption occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, the region remains a hub of activity with small earthquakes, geothermal heat, and sporadic geyser eruptions. Thousands of small earthquakes are recorded annually in the vicinity of the supervolcano, signaling the ongoing movement of molten rock beneath the surface. Scientists diligently heed these warnings and employ advanced monitoring systems to study the Yellowstone supervolcano and gather critical data about its behavior and potential for future eruptions. Seismometers strategically placed throughout the park and surrounding areas detect and record even the slightest earthquakes and ground tremors associated with volcanic activity. This seismic data allows scientists to pinpoint earthquake location, depth, and magnitude, aiding their understanding of magma movement and potential volcanic processes. Global Positioning System GPS instruments Utilizing satellite technology, precisely measure and monitor ground deformation around the Yellowstone supervolcano. By comparing repeated measurements over time, scientists can identify shifts or changes in the landscape indicative of potential volcanic activity. GPS data provides valuable insights into magma movement beneath the surface and helps identify patterns and trends that may serve as precursors to eruptions. Gas monitoring stations within Yellowstone National Park measure and analyze the composition and emission rates of volcanic gases released by the supervolcano. These volcanic gases, including sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide, provide crucial clues about underlying volcanic processes and interactions between magma, rocks, and fluids. Deviations from baseline gas emission levels or significant changes in composition may indicate increased volcanic activity, allowing researchers to stay vigilant. 
The integration of seismic, deformation, and gas data enables scientists to detect anomalies or patterns that may signify significant changes in volcanic activity. By gaining insights into the complex processes beneath the Earth's surface, scientists can potentially forecast or provide advanced warnings of volcanic events, contributing to better preparedness, hazard assessment, and mitigation strategies. In a thought-provoking episode of the Star Talk podcast, Neil deGrasse Tyson and volcanologist Janine Krippner delved into the unique characteristics of the Yellowstone supervolcano. They explored the distinction between super eruptions and smaller volcanic events, emphasizing the magnitude and impact of super eruptions on a global scale. Super eruptions, classified as VEI-8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, denote extraordinary explosiveness and involve massive volumes of magma. The Volcanic Explosivity Index is a scale used by scientists to measure and categorize the explosiveness of volcanic eruptions based on factors such as eruption cloud height, volume of erupted material, and eruption duration. Ranging from 0 to 8, with 8 representing the most violent and catastrophic eruptions, the VEI aids in estimating eruption intensity and impact. Super eruptions fall into the VEI-6 to VEI-8 category, characterized by colossal eruption columns that can reach the stratosphere and immense volumes of erupted material. The dispersion of volcanic ash during super eruptions can have profound global consequences. The injection of ash into the atmosphere leads to complex interactions with air currents and weather systems, causing a temporary cooling effect known as volcanic winter. The presence of a dense ash cloud reduces sunlight reaching the Earth's surface, impacting temperatures, rainfall patterns, and wind systems. Historical examples, such as the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815, demonstrate the significant climate impact and subsequent societal disruptions resulting from super eruptions. Considering the potential hazards posed by super eruptions, it is crucial to closely monitor Yellowstone's activity and provide accurate information to the public. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, a collaborative effort between the United States Geological Survey, the University of Utah, and the National Park Service, plays a pivotal role in actively monitoring the supervolcano. The observatory employs various techniques, including ground deformation measurements, satellite imagery analysis, and gas monitoring to track changes in the volcano's behavior and provide vital information for scientific research and public safety. Contrary to sensationalized media portrayals, the scientific community remains committed to transparency and the dissemination of accurate information. Given the collaborative international effort and the dedication of scientists to monitoring Yellowstone, the notion of government secrecy regarding imminent eruptions is highly unlikely. Ongoing monitoring efforts, advanced research, and international collaboration ensure the detection of potential volcanic unrest, improving preparedness, hazard assessment, and mitigation strategies. These collective endeavors aim to safeguard both the park and surrounding areas from the devastating effects of a potential eruption. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a comment and subscribe. See you at the next adventure.